It is seven minutes after three o'clock. Andy Thomas, your host here on Afternoon Magazine on WARD Pittston. The talk, of course, of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. This is Historical Perspectives, our weekly program that we do in cooperation with the Pennsylvania Museum and Historical Commission. The Concerned Citizens Organization, why was it formed? We formed because we felt the government wasn't doing enough for the people or for the town of Centralia, for the surrounding community. And we felt after 20 years there's something wrong. There's something wrong somewhere. We had to voice our opinion, put some pressure on, and see if we could do the job. See if we could get the Congress, the Senate to come in there, get the funds in there and do the job right. They feel safe. We don't because we live in the impact zone. We have a monitor in our home. They come in and test every day, every room in the house. We have no more privacy. Our privacy is gone. Our life is a daily open book. My daughter can't sleep in her bedroom because there are readings of high gas up in her bedroom. And uh, she's been getting sick, so we have her sleeping downstairs. It's a nightmare living like that. It's really a nightmare. The town of Centralia was incorporated in 1866 as a mining town in Middle Eastern Pennsylvania. Its population quickly skyrocketed, hitting its max population just 24 years after its incorporation. At its peak, the town operated its own school district with elementary and high schools, as well as its own fire station. However, conditions began to deteriorate rapidly in 1962, when the mine underneath the town ignited. There is disagreement over how exactly the fire started, but both stories involve burning trash that was not properly extinguished being the source of ignition. With the fire came the release of deadly gases and structural instability in the mines, causing collapses. The town's population dropped quickly as people relocated to nearby areas, afraid for their own safety. Today, less than 10 people still live among the rubble and empty lots. When they die, their land will be taken by the state. The remaining residents find themselves living in an empty town that doesn't even have a zip code. When their mayor, Carl Wilmer, died in 2014, he was not replaced and remains the last official mayor of Centralia. Those are deer. Those are human, dude.
guess we have no idea what the hell. Oh shoot. The cemetery. And it looks like we made it on the other side of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Snow's all melted? Yeah. Oh, because it's so hot out here. It's not too hot. It's actually like a vent for fire. That's a steam vent, yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Wow. Look at that. It's just a ring of snow. And it just stops. And you can feel warm air coming from Yeah, it. I feel it. That's actually awesome. This way. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of graffiti here. You can see it. Whoa, it's gonna be a Oh wow. It's just, yeah, it's just an instability. Yeah. Dude, 
it actually like it looks like it collided with itself like tectonic plates i know pushed it up like like the, the that literally is what it looks like like how this must have happened is wild yeah i know <laughs> that is all ice. <laughs> and you just realized that. <laughs> oh. oh god, there's something venting from there. Really? <laughs> the picket fence scenery at my front door with the lady of my dream. What perfect like symmetry, and as we're up close, I can feel the energy. Yeah. Don't need to think twice with the future so vast I should really take a knee, oh yeah Everything's bright, keep the present, no past Could replace the one you gave to me Destiny